各位家长、同学、老师们，大家好，春节快乐 ，Happy Chinese New Year to everyone. I am Hai Feng Zeng. I was the principal of this Chinese school from 2017 to 2019. After I retired from Chinese school, I have been serving as the software coach for the Newton Busters robotic team. Today, I will have two of our team members, who used to be Chinese school students, to present to you this year's robotic mission. Thank you. Hello, we are First Tech Challenge Team 10138, Newton Busters. My name is Jerry and I've been with the team for four years. And my main roles in the team include work on hardware and drive team coach. Hi, my name is Claire and this is my fourth year on the Newton Busters FPC team. Our main roles are driving and uh, programming. So you might be wondering, what is First Tech Challenge or FTC? Uh, FTC is a robotics competition hosted by the first organization and it is intended for grades 7 through 12. And teams will design, build, and program a robot in order to compete with other teams by completing a series of, of objectives on a field, such as this one. Newton Busters is sponsored by Girl Scouts and we often represent Girl Scouts by demonstrating our robot and outreach, outreach events, such as fundraising meetings and in local communities. So sitting right here is our robot this year. I think one of our main like selling points is our use of computer automated computer aided design software, which, which allows to design parts in a computer and then three D print them. So you can see a lot of our three D printed parts are red. So you can see over here, here, here. And I think the main benefit of 3D printing is that we can make these like more complicated shapes that would be harder to manufacture in like a more using more traditional methods. So you can see our hook here. There's a bunch of like curved shapes on it, and then our like bucket here, and this red back wall here, and also this camera mount, and then we also have these like brackets here, and then we also use like like more traditional like components like this metal C channel. And to drive the whole robot, we use a variety of motors, servos, and sensors. So the motors provide us like a lot of raw power and speed. So we use those to drive like the main wheels and the launcher here. And there's an intake over here on this side. We'll see that later. And the servos just allow us a little bit of motion. So we can like move this bucket up and down. Or there's a, there's a thing in here that we can also move with the servo. And we also have sensors on, on the robot, such as this camera. So we can use this camera to detect colors although we are not using that function this year. And you can also see on the field, back here, over here, and there's also one by the camera, we have these navigation images. So our camera can detect those, and then the robot can kind of figure out where it is in the field. And we also have our odometry wheels. So there's one like over here, but I don't think you can see it. But those wheels are connected to an encoder, which can count the rotations of the wheels as it moves along the field. We used our encoder reading to translate to robot movement and positions on the field. We then use the navigation images to, de to determine our position on the field and move to a desired location without min with minimal human interaction. We will now demonstrate our robot. So in competition, there are two different modes in which we operate the robot. One of them is autonomous mode, in which we program everything beforehand and just let the robot run its thing. And then during a match, once autonomous is finished, we move on to driver out mode, in which human drivers will actually control the robot. two driver, drivers and one coach, and a human player this year, which, uh, which feeds wings into the field. Yeah, so I'm not only the coach, but there's only two of us right now, so I'm also I can use the human player. So I can feed these rings back into the field after the robots fire them, and then I, if the robot knocks these down, I can also move them back up.
task we are made using software is scanning a navigation image and moving to a desired location or angle. demonstration purposes, but a real end game would start uh, 30 seconds before the driver up mode period ends. And during end game, you are able to score for new objectives that you weren't able to do during the rest of the period, such as this power shop over right here. That is very cool. Right? So, in our Chinese school, we have this Lego robotic class and Python programming class taught by Mr. Alice Lai. By the way, he's a great teacher. This class will introduce the foundations to our students about technology. With this background, they can move on to high school to learn more advanced programming techniques, robotic building, 3D design, self-driving cars. That's it for today. Goodbye everyone. Hopefully we can see each other in person in next year's Chinese New Year celebration. Thank you. One more thing. What if the robot was able to pick up rings and shoot by itself? We programmed the robot to use the camera to see the rings on the field, then plan the optimal path for it to pick it up, shoot, and repeat.